the bustling city of Cambodia, Phnom Penh, has attracted countless visitors from around the world. But if tourists come and see plastic widespread everywhere, all they could think of is, ugh, and buy a plane ticket back to their country. However, that won't be the case for Phnom Penh, as we are heading towards a plastic-free future. Because we all know Phnom Penh City, life like boom boom, and it's only gonna get better. But it will come with a price. Firstly, I would like to express my highest gratitude toward the chair ceremony. Judges, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Anz Pepot, a representative of Level 12, Campus 18, and it's a wonderful honor for me to present the topic, Phnom Penh Journey Towards a Plastic-Free Future, by presenting two main points and an offer you can't refuse, because it's too good to be true. But before hitting the fast lane, let's slow down a sec to further understand the motion by key terms. As provided by Oxford Languages, defines journey as an act of traveling from one place to another. Professor Michelle Gallo has defined in an article the term plastic free literally means free from plastic and represent a commitment to a more correct handling of this material. Now back on track, plastic pollution has been one of the biggest issue in most city, including Phnom Penh, but it all is gonna change after one. The journey begins now. Phnom Penh population is only going to increase and we have two choices, to be carefree or to be plastic free. The result is shocking, the number of people who choose to be plastic free because they can imagine what the future would look like for Phnom Penh to be free of plastic. This vision is within our reach and all it costs is for us to be aware, prepared and committed. That's it. That's it. So today, your journey can begin now, as each and every action counts. It's so important that the Ministry of Environment launch a campaign aimed to combat the use of plastic under the slogan, Today, I will not use plastic, as we join force to protect Cambodia's environment and say goodbye to plastic. The best way to implement this strategy is by seeping through the educational system, which is a foundation towards a plastic-free future. Education is the secret sauce in building a thriving country. With education comes innovation. As proposed, the United Nations Development Program has presented eight finalist ideas in the plas Ending Plastic Pollution Challenge to prove my point that with education, we create innovation, which is the solution to the pollution. We, Cambodia, might not be the fastest, but never have we stopped. Heading towards our goal, I would like to give an appreciation shout out for those who've been part of the movement since day one. And I have good news for you, as we are only one step away from achieving the dream city free of plastic. As we lead onwards in our next step, the progression. All it takes is for us to say no and be prepared because the future can't be seen, but we can be prepared for what's to come. As mentioned, the Cambodian Ministry of Environment has launched a campaign to fight against the use of plastic on September 1st, 2023. With the participation of 8 million citizens, we were able to make changes rapidly like never before. So the more involvement there is, the quicker we'll be on track towards a greener future. And that will mark the finale of Plastic Vase. This campaign proved to be effective in showing results. As you see in the past, the streets are covered with plastic, especially during the rainy season. But look at us now. Even during the storm, not a single plastic vase has been encountered. The government has made it clear that we will say no to plastic by using alternative instead. Due to the ongoing campaign, the Ministry of Environment has reported a significant decline in the single-use plastic in the first quarter of 2024. So this is a great opportunity for everyone to promote alternative towards plastic, such as reusable bottles, reusable bags, and so on. These alternatives not only reduce the use of plastic towards a clean environment, furthermore boosting the economic growth by cultural souvenirs. These cultural souvenirs, if tourists buy them, they will be part of the solution. Plus, they are promoting Cambodia's culture. 
as well as they could have a souvenir that will last them a lifetime. Now, to sum up, the vision of Phnom Penh City, free of plastic, is close to being reached. But with a little more involvement and more commitment in the campaign, we will finally be able to live in a clean city, clear of plastic. So, as a Khmer citizen, with Khmer blood inside me, all I ask is for everyone to participate in the movement. As once our journey completes, Phnom Penh's next journey is to the moon. Thank you.